Welcome back everyone to Elden Ring. Uh, where am I? Oh yeah, Farmzula. I totally <laughs> forgot where the hell I just was in this game. Yeah, anyways, we're in Farmzula, which means we can progress. Progress with the main game. I mean, in terms of like progression, we're doing okay. I don't expect this area to be particularly difficult, maybe outside of the boss. But we'll see what happens, we will honestly see, because I've misjudged areas before, i.e. Oh shit, yeah. That is a lot of HP on that dragon. Sort of what I was expecting. Jesus. I've never fought these things I've always just run past them but I'm gonna give it an honest attempt and we'll see what happens I think this is one of those yeah typical bosses that where it's just like get attacked from random directions type beat you know god this is the more I play this... Oh, shit, yeah. The more I'm playing this game, uh, the more I'm starting to, like... I'm spoiling my eventual review, second review, but... A huge problem of this game is the camera. I know I've, I've talked about the camera mostly in the previous episode as well, but it really is... I, if FromSoft keeps making large enemies, these large type of spectacle fights, man, they have to sort out the camera because it's it's just not okay for these types of enemies. Wow, that thing has a lot of HP. So I think if these, if you get lucky with these lightnings and none like spawn under you, you will be okay. Oh, come on, lock on, please work with me. not working with me like Jesus how much does that's 400 versus oh shit it's I didn't think the difference in damage is that much between the body and the the head whoa what the oh okay it's doing its wing I was like what the hell is even hitting me it wasn't dealing damage see if I was smart I would just stick to his feet and tough it out tough it out by I mean tough it out by just stay patient but I think that's gonna take like a year to kill this thing then come on lock on work with me that is yeah that is a huge damage difference how much HP does this thing have? And I know this is a this is this thing is basically a clone of an actual boss. Uh, there is a boss in this game. It's a dragon. I don't remember its name. Lan something. It's like a secret boss, uh, and this is a clone of that. And I've never actually fought that version, the like, actual boss version, but there are a couple of these show up. Like this version of this dragon. Oh man. Combat is good, but... It tracks like a motherfucker. It's, it has really bad tracking. Well, I do wonder, I genuinely do wonder how much this is gonna give me. Okay. This man, this thing has a shit ton of HP. I mean, basically the amount of runes this gives me is gonna determine <laughs> if I ever fight this thing again. Because if it gives you like, I don't know, 20k, which is, believe me, very possible, I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's a one and done. Oh, fuck, maybe it's just gonna one-shot me. Maybe it is, because I'm taking a lot of damage. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm 
I might be screwed here. I don't know how I wasn't screwed there. But I am in trouble now. Because... Oh no, why are you flying? Come on. It's dead. Oh, ancient dragon smithing stone. This is not the one I want. We need the somber ancient dragon smithing stone, right? 35 fucking thousand... I'm never fighting this thing again. <laughs> that is... That is so bad. 35k for that boss. Jesus, Elden Ring. What the hell is wrong with you? 35,000. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Alright then, let's hit up the... Let's hit up the side of grace and move on. Move on with our lives. Yeah, but what I did mention before, uh, the type of smithing stone that I want... Sorry, I'm just looking at my face cam. It's a bit fucked up, but that's all good. The type of smithing stone we want, the ancient dragon kind, is found in this area. So I'm going to have to be on the lookout for that. Because we actually need two of them, and I think there are two of them in this area. Yeah, they really start throwing out the advanced smithing stones in this area. They're like giving them to you left and right. Again, when a Souls game starts doing that, they're pretty much like hinting to you that you should have your shit upgraded. And luckily I do. I do have it upgraded as much as it can be. Oh look, that was a sick double hit. I mean... This area is easier than it's ever been with this setup. Um, and these are, these enemies are not the worst, but they can be... Sort of slightly annoying. But not with this build. What I'm really curious about, you, you guys know what I'm really curious about. It's the granddaddy of them all. The granddaddy boss fight of this area, the Godskin duo. Uh, it's not even Malekith that's like the granddaddy boss of this game. Or, I mean, the, of this area. It's it's the Godskin duo. I am so curious on how this build is going to be able to deal with the duo. Uh, because... I'm not going to lie, people. I do have my doubts. The Comet Azure type setup seemed very powerful initially, but hasn't worked out as much as I thought. Although, to be fair, I've only... Whoa! Alright. Fine game. Fine. Fine. Okay, let's try this again uh, in a little bit more of a controlled manner this time around. Now that I actually remember that there's an ambush here, we will be doing a lot better. These things are fast too. And I'm out of MP. So, while I was running back, I did take... What? What? That is nutty damage. That is not a damage. What I wanted to say is while I was running back, I did check specifically where the ancient dragon, somber ancient dragon smithing stone is. Turns out there's only one here. Uh, and it's a lot further on up. And the other one is found in Lanedell, Ashen Capital. So we will be okay on that front. So here is the problem. Uh, I totally didn't know there was one of those red lightning spellcasters up on the railing too. Uh, or as in, I killed it on the previous attempts. And now this one, for some reason, has dropped down. And man, is he good at avoiding spells. Because he has a big... He's a jumpy boy. Alright, we're good. 
I should use my spell swords more. This one I haven't used uh, in quite a long time. Fucking Glin Great Blade Phalanx. It's a good one. Sick looking spell. Does a hefty bit of posture damage. It's probably its most significant trait. Ooh. You're about to be blasted. I mean, compared to Comet, how much did that do? I feel like I'm getting the same sort of vibe as in previous Souls games with the spells. And I think that's true for every single entry in the series that there are certain spells that are just so good, that are so incredibly powerful that uh, most of the variety spells that are actually interesting just get overshadowed. I shouldn't have rested there. I forgot that's going to respawn all these assholes. Although, to be fair, the flasks are nice. Now, this is what I wanted to explore, this bottom part of Firmzula, because I came here on my first playthrough, and then I just left and didn't come back. There are these like worm faces or whatever they're called down here. The ones that inflict death blight, which is just... It's just great. Told you. But these are like mini versions. I mean, see this is what I'm talking about, like... Look at how good this comet spell is. It's insane. Thousand points of damage. And that's 600. I mean, to be fair, that has a different purpose, but... Yeah, okay. I gotta not be an asshole here. Oh, come on, lock on, please. Work with me. Oh shit, I'm gonna get death blighted, aren't I? Can already tell. Can already tell it's gonna happen. Gold tinged excrement. I think I picked some of that up on playthrough one as well, and Man, that sounds good. It's what the soul needs. Come on, lock onto the other one, please. That, there you go. So that dealt a thousand damage, and a fully charged one of this deals. Yeah, 1,300. And see, this is what I'm talking about. And Comet is just so much faster. God, these things are gross too. Ah, uh, yeah, blast it. So, you know, that's the sort of breakdown of things. And I, But I, what I do like in this game is that they do they try to spice up the variety in that. The fact that these more advanced spells, so for example, Comet barely tracks versus like Glintstone Pebble. I do like this idea of creating balance in that sense. That's sure you get a more powerful spell, but you give up being able to like hit your opponent. Uh, but still, the issue is... Comet is just so good. Okay, are you stuck there? I think he's stuck there. Queued up action. Yeah. 
some of these items, I don't even know what the hell they are. Again, I didn't even know this area was this expansive. This like bottom part. I thought you just came down here, picked up a couple of items and that's it. But there's like a full, like, like a full area here. Yeah, these things do have a weak spot, which I've been unable to hit. Not for lack of trying, it's just, you know. There isn't actually a lock-on point to their weak spot. Oh, and there's a big one there too. That might be a problem. Okay. Overall, this might all still be worth it. At least I can put off having to fight the Godskin duo. Which is A-OK -okay in my book. Oh, I see where you go and then you jump across, don't you? I mean, this is a cool place visually. I do like Feramazula. I think they did well with this one. Yeah, that weak spot. Get hit, bitch. <sighs> Fuck. Annoying. Annoying. The last one, too. That got me. Damn. I have to come back all this way here? Yeah, I do. Okay. So, my runes are not here because... As we've discovered, or as I've discovered... Running past these things is not the easiest. There are easier enemies to run past in Elden Ring. Because uh, once they cast this, this stupid death fly thing, there's a version of it which like rains down from above. And that one is... Well, it can hit you on the ladder too. So that's the thing that finished me. But, hey, this point in the game, losing 20k souls is really the least of my worries. Oh, yeah, I landed on the tree. Let me just take a look around here. Yeah, and okay. You can totally come this way too. Which I think is probably way easier. Yeah, 100%. If I do die, that's going to be the, the, the run back. Unless they are nice enough to put a Steak of America here. Man, I totally didn't know that this side area was this, like, large. Kind of had a feeling. Haha. <laughs> Oh, Kerry and Slicer, I, I do love you. I do love you, Kerry and Slicer. Because you have this much stamina, it just turns nutty, this spell. And of course, it, it's not even optimized. There are entire builds, I think, Oro demonstrated in like some of his PvP videos when you have like a build fully optimized around carry and slicer how like insane it can get that's not what i wanted this is what i wanted thank fuck they're aggro but one at a time did i hold on we need to check something once i kill this thing did i actually manage to get to zero mp I did! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. That's kind of sick. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. Alright, let's charge this shit. 
I'm really I'm curious about the the big one whether it's gonna actually have a boss HP bar or just be like an enemy probably getting a bit too close to it all right no HP bar But a ton of HP. Does it have a grabby move? <laughs> Carry a slicer. <laughs> am I standing in the death? I am standing in the death blight. And we need to be careful of that. Okay, that was mad easy. And I'm like 90% sure this is not going to be worth it. Rejuvenating bulbs. That's the thing that removes uh, Death Blight. But it's it's no biggie. Like, on, I'm going to be honest with you. Death Blight is not a major obstacle in this game. Come on. What is it? Clover Picker's Bell Bearing. Oh. Oh. See, now that might actually be useful, depending on what um, level it allows you to purchase. That might actually be fairly good. All right, let's move on in Zula. That's worth it. You can probably just run down there and pick it up. Uh, I don't think you need to go through the whole area, really. Just a lesson for, you know, subsequent playthroughs. Oh yeah, this is where the skeleton version starts showing up. Jesus, that actually does way more damage. Probably because my magic is way more powerful. I know, I know, get the skelly. I think I ran past most of these guys. My first playthrough. I mean, the runes they give is pitiful, so it's not the worst tactic. Still, we can have a longer episode. I mean, this is obviously the game is gonna turn a lot more linear from now on. It's pretty much a straight line to the finish at this point so oh yeah that doesn't reach it's not even worth it because I wasn't able to be like I couldn't reach the skeleton even if I tried so you know hey there Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, that is a lot of HP. Alright. Lesson learned. Let me check out this ghost bud picker bell. And let's just visit the round table hold for a bit. Alright. Let's do this. And of course now the round table hold is all like messed up. Uh, seven, eight, nine... Okay. Need to check one thing. Ho oh, ho, that's perfect. That is so perfect. Need to pop a couple of runes. Well, whose soul do I still have that I haven't used? Gimme. Gimme. And don't gimme. Who sold it? Oh, it's a fire giant. All right. Yeah. We can wait with that. No rush. I'm 
pretty much strong enough for the rest of the game. I mean, I'm not really worried outside of HP, but that's gonna continue to be a problem. So, you know, is this where she goes all emo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just tune this shit up for me. And we need the grave, great grave glove word. God, try saying that quickly. Great grave, <laughs> great grave log. Fucking hell. All right, I'm gonna stop trying to do that. Let's just head back to where we were. This is very nice. I might just look up where to get a great grave glove word and upgrade a spirit ash to plus ten because I haven't actually done that yet. And probably a smart thing to do here is just go and hit up this bonfire. We are very close to the godskins, which is an unfortunate, like, it's not a sentence I wanted to come out of my mouth for a while. But here we are. So we're just gonna have to sort of deal with this somehow. Still, again, I'm curious. Yeah, the damage is insane. Did you see did you see how much damage that dealt? Uh, I'm just thinking cuz we do have to go through this place sort of legitly the first time around, don't we? We can't just run to god skins. Well, actually we could. Do I have every I don't have the setup, do I? All right, we need to we need to adjust So pretty much we're gonna go Terra Magica, Comet Azure, and I guess we can put Carry and Slicer. Just thinking of the order to do this in. Uh, so we pop Terra, pop the flask, wrong thing. It don't work, I mean it's... Hmm, that, that was almost correct, that was almost correct what I did there. I was a little bit, yeah, because I, I messed up. I messed up at the start. You have more time. It's just the issue is going to be that there's two of them. Uh, so I think we probably need our summon too. So summon Pub the Physic Flask. No, summon Terra Magica. Pub the Physic Flask. Uh, Comet to Zor. Terra Magica, I forgot about Terra Magica. Okay, this. Terra Magica. Flask. Comet Azor. Don't you dare fucking move from there. I mean, that sort of worked. As much as it could. Yeah, that kind of works well. Oh, fuck. Idiots. I mean... God, that is a lot of HP. Come on, boys. He's gonna roll. Just still don't know what the hell you do against this attack. Like, kill like half the boys. And it's... 
Just doesn't stop. I mean, as far as gods can do all fights go, and an attempt this early, that wasn't awful. What? I'm still alive! Oh my fucking god, I... <laughs> Shit. Alright, hold on. I totally <laughs> wasn't paying attention. Alright, well that was easy. The tactic worked. I was like, where the hell is the game over screen? Where is the game over screen? There was no game over screen because I don't know how the hell his AI decided that it shouldn't kill me, but I'm very glad it worked out like that. Well, okay, fine, fine, yeah, yeah, this, this setup is OP. I am no longer going to be in denial. Um, still, this boss, as you saw in the hints when it like attacked me and everything, this boss is an absolute nightmare. Um, it just doesn't work. The like just putting two bosses who were designed to be challenging separately into one arena and not adjusting their moveset at all. I still argue that that does not work. Still, that's besides the point because that was insanely easy. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is I'll wrap up this episode for now. And then we'll continue in Farum Azula because this place is actually going fairly smoothly. Yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give this a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.